Hey guys, it's Hannah and welcome back to the Dyslexic Reader. Today I am going to be doing the Reading Habits book tag. I was not tagged in this but I saw Andy over it at It's a Reading Thing do it and I just thought that it was quite interesting and it would let you guys know more about me so I decided to do it. Question one. Do you have a certain place at home for reading? No. Uh, I will read anywhere inside or outside the house. I want to say most of it's in bed. I'm not sure if that's true but if I had to pick one place that's probably where it would be and it's not even through habit but like I find my bedroom to be the quietest place. Um, so normally if I'm like lying on the sofa or something like people can come in and out of the room or want to watch television or something. So I tend to read in bed just to get peace and quiet. I don't even read at night time but it's, it's a mix. It's I wouldn't really say anywhere. Question two. Bookmark or a random piece of paper? I really don't care. I have quite a few bookmarks. I'll read them a lot. I'll use receipts from the book or from the library with the dates because then at least it's in my head. Um, I bought a second hand book recently and it had like a postcard advertisement in it that had been left there since like the 70s and while I read it I used it as a bookmark. Like I really don't care. I don't like to dog ear. When I was little I didn't use bookmarks or anything at all. I just like remembered the page number which is a bit weird. But yeah. No it doesn't really bother me. Can you stop reading at any point or do I have to end on a chapter? It doesn't have to be end of a chapter but do you know the way sometimes I don't can't remember the name of the little thing like it's within a chapter but they put like a little squiggly line or something to indicate that like it's a different place or a different time. I can stop at those but very few books have those so on a whole yeah I prefer to stop at the end of chapter and I like look ahead and see like how long the next chapter is and then if I know I've only got like 10 minutes then I'll know if I can read it in that time if I think I can't then I'll probably stop. Do you eat slash drink while reading? I am British therefore I drink tea all the time so yes. This mug appeals to me on an emotional level. I got it in Disney World. Who isn't dopey in the mornings? And then it's got dopey in his pajamas looking terribly tight. Sweet little baby. Not that it's even the morning, it's like six o'clock in the evening, but you know, I'm just home from work and I pretty much feel how dopey looks. Anywhere, where, where, do I eat while reading? Not really. I find it hard to like hold, turn pages, drink tea, which I always have plus eat. So usually not. Mult multitasking music or TV while reading. This is an interesting one. I said earlier I didn't like to read in the living room because people distracted me and sometimes put the TV on. I don't listen to music while reading, however. There is a website that I use called Ambient Mixer. I'll leave it in the description, a link to it. You can use it on like the web or I know I have the iOS app on my iPhone and iPad. Um, I'm not sure if you can get an Android equivalent, but it has like hundreds of sounds and you can have eight going at once. And you can make your own or people like upload them like they'll do Hogwarts library. So they'll have pages of like British people chattering in a British accent. Maybe a bit of rain in the background turning pages. Maybe the sound of a quill on paper so that could be a Hogwarts library. But people make up one. They make them up for like fantasy books or TV series like to go along with that. Or they'll make up like a random just like a summer forest or something. And I normally pick one that goes along with the books. Now I'm a bit picky about like which ones. I like. I don't like ones with like ticking clocks. That seems to be a common relaxation thing but it really annoys me. Um, You can when you go in and you see all the it sounds you can change the volume, the frequency and all that or you can just make up your own. 
Um, I have a couple that I really like. There's one Hogwarts Library one I like. There's one where Belle from Beauty and the Beast Library is sort of recreated. Um, there's an English garden one where there's a sound of like people playing the piano and um, like horses on gravel and the sound of tea being poured and birds twittering. There's another one I really like too but I can't remember. I think it's a train, like a stormy train one that I use. So I don't listen to music or TV really, but I use that app a lot. I just wanted to show you guys my jumper. Look how cute is this? It's like a little farm scene. Do you see it with the little flowers and the little gate? My dad bought this jumper for my mom when they started going out. And she kept it all those years and then when I got like big enough and I was like that is a cool jumper. I need it. But listen to my chair. I don't know if you can hear that. Can you hear that? I've had my hand on that the whole video because <laughs> I sit in like a little toady, like a child's inflatable chair. That sounds so stupid when <laughs> I'm doing my videos. It's like a baby inflatable chair. And I sit on that when I'm doing my videos. And I went to sit on it today and I moved it and I had got lodged under the bed and when I pulled it out I like ripped it. And I haven't found anything to fix it and I really wanted to get this video filmed while there was still a bit of natural light and I don't know when I'm going to have any free time next. So look, listen, that's the sound of my weight pushing all the out of it so I have to keep my hand across my makeshift patch of blue tack to try and keep it closed. I'm Parson. <laughs> Question six. One book at a time. I don't know how to answer this question because the answer is yes always when it comes to physical books but I always have a reading physical book or ebook on the go and a audiobook because I like, and like to listen to audiobooks as I fall asleep while I'm doing housework, while I'm driving, things like that. So I always have an audiobook and then a reading book, whatever you want to call it. So I'm not sure if that counts as two books. I wouldn't really count it. I can never be reading two books at the same time because it gets jumbled up and I make seem to make no progress. I like to be able to see in a book, like, oh my goodness, look how much I've read in the last two days. And I feel like, obviously, if you're reading two books, the progress is half you're splitting your time and then I feel like I'm not making progress and it annoys me but that's just me reading at home or everywhere everywhere I nearly always have a book on my person I always have a book on my person if you include audiobooks I nearly always do if you like say it has to be a physical book or an ebook I nearly always have my kindle in my handbag but I don't read ebooks as much so I will have a physical book on me most of the time. It would be weird for you to find me. I even bring it to work and it's probably been like months and months since I've even had time to read one page at work but I always have it with me. I feel like if I like have to go to like the doctors and I'm sitting in the waiting room like I'll have a book. I always have a book on me and I'll read anywhere I can. Reading out loud or silently? Silently. Um, <laughs> If you didn't know um, I'm a teacher. I'm primary school which is the ages of 4 to 11 and within my job I read out loud enough. If I was to come home and read out loud I would never have a voice. So I read out loud all day so when it comes to reading novels to myself it's silent. Do you read ahead or skip pages? I used to when I was, well I say younger, like in my teens, I would, this is awful, I would read the blurb and if I was undecided I would read the last like paragraph of the book to help me decide like whether, not the first paragraph, the very last. I never knew why I did that but it was something I did. I don't do it anymore, I haven't done it in years and years and years. No, I would never um, read ahead or skip chapters or anything. This patch. Is running out so I'm going to have to speed up this video. Um, <laughs> this video has turned into the biggest shambles ever. 
No, I never skip ahead. I sometimes will, if I feel like it's a boring patch, like pick up my reading speed because I'm thinking I don't have to be in-depthly involved in this information because it seems like it's going nowhere. But I would never um, actually skip anything. Breaking the spine or keeping it new. I normally break the spine, but that's not out of wanting to break the spine. That's just the way I read. I really have no preference. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And the majority of the books that I own are second hand, so most of them come to me with a broken spine anyway, so I really don't care. Uh, do you write in books? No, I never have. I've never written in fiction, non-fiction, academic books, books I was studying. I never um, written in any book. I read fantasy mostly, or not fantasy, fiction mostly. And I do it for pleasure and I feel like um, I feel like taking notes and uh, analyzing the text to that detail for me sort of um, removes the pleasure a little bit so I tend not to but if there ever is good quotes or anything or even if I'm studying something academically I'll take notes separately in my journal um, and make a note of them and refer back to them but I never actually write in the book. And finally the last question who do you tag? I tag anyone. I really don't care. I never wait to be tagged in these videos and I don't think that anybody should wait to be tagged I guess. Um, I think you should just do the questions that you want to do and you want to video. It's as simple as that. That's the tag over. Um, I wanted to give you a quick reading update. I just finished My Cousin Rachel by Daphne du Maurier. I loved it. It was so good. Uh, so the last half, I couldn't put it down. I read it in the day. It was so, so good. So expect a review of that coming shortly. Hopefully, I'm not very good at getting the reviews for all my books done, but that is one I really, really want to review. And at the minute, I'm about halfway through Jekyll and Hyde, which I'm enjoying. Actually, I've never read it before. Um, the language is hard, but I'm enjoying it. So I'm hoping to have it done by tomorrow, because tomorrow I hope to film my March wrap-up. I have got lower and lower the whole way through this video. Have you noticed? I started like up here somewhere. Oh, I think the hole is plugged. Yay! I really don't want to have to go out and try to like... There it is again. To try and find like something to sit on that's this height or like work out what pillows. And if I like sit in a chair, I'm going to be too high. And I know I can like angle the camera, but I feel like... I like this sort of framing where I can write my little title on my whiteboard. Don't know, I might have to change my view up again. But this is already a long enough video. Congrats if you stuck it out this long. Chat to me please. Leave comments. I like to talk to y'all. And that's about it. And I hope you're all happy and I hope you're all healthy. I'm really bad at accents as you can tell. Um, yeah, I hope to have my March wrap up out tomorrow, which I'm excited about. Um, and I'll see y'all then. Bye.